大魔法使いフリーランエピソード7フランメの著書,メの著書に本物なしって言われていてね今まで偽物の魔導書しか見つかっていないんだこれが今までで一番出来のいい偽物かな She appreciates the fakes. Isn't that a thing? Like sometimes fakes end up having their own market? Boy, that has multiple meanings. <laughs> Or multiple like, things it applies to. Yeah, that's their fate too. There's like this whole lineage thing, cycle. They're masters. They are now. Or she is now a master. We got the young kids stepping into the legacy. These episodes so far have been really good at these self contained stories within episode that feed into the grander story. This intro is probably significant to the episode's themes. If all you see are fakes, you start to doubt if the thing is real, then you also have the idea of figures fading into the past as legends or fairy tales. Sleeping again. I mean, she's sleeping against a tree. Is this character growth? He might just have just been the tree. Now Freerun has a mommy and a daddy. <laughs> but, I mean, there's that beautiful counterpoint that makes it all okay, which is that she's an absolute badass when it most counts. I wonder who or if there will be a big bad of this show. So far, the big bad is like just death, time. Episode 7, like a fairy tale. There it is again. <laughs> Ang Road. There will be side quests! You're welcome, noble NPC. Don't question the side quests. It's a recipe to make carrots purple. Everyone low-key a troll. You're welcome. Noble NPC. Your reward is water. What is your name? Stalukama. Thank you, honorary NPC. It's NPC really sticking around. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. I just figured they were like off in a different land somewhere. Oh, so they're like pandas. Can't say I relate. I wonder what life is like without <laughs> those instincts. <laughs> Might be nice. Might be, might be nice. Probably a lot more I would get done. I'm saying consolation. I mean, I've used dating apps. The dating pool with an abundant sample set is not really all that much better sometimes. Uh, some weird questions. I want to see Hyder more in action. I'm not really sure what he did besides being a priest. Almost like they might become something like a fairy tale. Thank you for the information, honorary NPC. Do you not realize one of them is among you? I think Himmel can he can ask for this. Indulge him this pleasure as the grand hero. I mean fair. Himmel was a really great PR rep for himself. But of course, while the statues are cool. Fairy tales again. Statues are cool, but it's not about the statues. Right. It's the ripple you made in the stream that's current will forever be changed. Thank you. Somewhat slow on the uptake, NPC. <laughs> you keep asking that question far enough down, the answer will be no. But again, it's not really about the statues or the fairy tales. The legacy will exist even if it's not directly traceable or, or understood, it's there. 
この旅の目的地ってまだ聞いてなかったな。Oh, he just joined up and wasn't even given the debriefing. 天国。Right. そいつは楽しそうだ。I don't know. I'm wary of this. I don't know. Usually speaking with the dead isn't, isn't great. There will be challenges and side quests. Oh, speaking of big. Bad? Oh, she activated the Skyrim guards. His name is Graf, too. Do you know here's anyone? A demon peace envoy? I need more information on this demon system. Speaking of Final Fantasy X, see more vibes. On the day of the festival, no less. Freeman again, you know, could have solved this with some name dropping, not her style. She has a real talent. I don't know, they're learning. They're learning politics. In 80 years, the, the humans have learned the ways of the demons, and the demons have learned the ways of the humans. It cuts both ways, I guess. それで死者を受け入れたのか悪手だねまぞくとの対話なんて無駄な行為だ。<笑> We gotta protect our children from the forest. Uh, this might backfire. Maybe like keep your daughter back while you're figuring this out. I mean, I know for your stance, so I think I know what's coming. Oh, Himmel said that too. Yikes. Like, inviting her into your home is a, is a large step after not killing her. Oh, every, like, second this goes on is, it makes me more ter terrified. It's gonna make it worse if something bad happens. That was abrupt, but alright. Maybe there's more to the story? Looks like she saved the kid. Wait, she saved the kid. There's something else going on. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's not how that works. Oh, this makes it dicey. It doesn't seem like it's evil. It seems like it's just... Okay, well. It wasn't all pleasant. That did, that did not create the no ambiguity case that I thought they were going to make. Tricky. I still need to see more about this demon system. Dark. What? In her mind, was she not doing something she thought was good? It was like way too rational. Like, you are missing a daughter. I'm apologetic. Here's a new daughter that I have now freed for you. I don't know. The demons are better dressed than the humans. Oh, I was just going to say it out loud. Alright. <laughs> You know, Freeman could get out of the prison if she wanted to. Oh, she just wanted to die in the Demon War. Dragon Slayer. Oh, 
dramatic. Oh. Well, can we really, like, accuse them of deception then? I mean, he outwardly stated that he was going to deceive them. But the human just deceived them. I don't really want to get tied down to this, like, justice for demons thing, but... Mommy. Oh, my mommy. Oh, それがどうした。私もあなた方に殺された父上の部屋はそのままにしてあります。あ、クライアンのネゴシエーション。少し考える。<笑> We can use that. Alright, just kill him. <laughs> just kill him. It's been decided. I feel bad for the one good demon out there. Dead. Oh, he's got that string power. Like Maki. God bless. Is this whole team is a little bit too loose lipped about their evil objectives. Damn. Oh, wow. The episode flew by better than your boss, son. <laughs> that episode took a turn. It was like, are we all going to become fairy tales? What is our lasting impression in the world? And then demon politics, which, wow, they're not exactly painted in the most flattering light. I wonder if that's a setup for later. For that to be subverted. Or maybe I'm just Himmel and I'm looking a little bit too hard to find things that aren't there. The girl thing, the girl in the village thing was unconvincing though. But that was quickly overcome by the overwhelming malice coming out of Rugner and his lackeys. This is a huge, huge reach. But there's a question of if you only see fakes, does a real one even exist? If you only see evil demons, do good demons even exist? I'm not sure if it has any significance, really. I have to see more about where the demon thing is going. The way they're being presented so far, it's kind of like they're just predatory wild animals, but capable of human-like mannerisms and speech. At which point the answer isn't necessarily eradication. You could just, I don't know, not invite them into your home and village. Like you wouldn't invite a bear into your house to stay. If that truly is the extent of their nature. Then again, bears are not capable of like society annihilating magic. Yet, looking at it way too generally about how they use words, there is a concept that's interesting to me about, as I put it, source and signal. When it comes to other people, the really important things, the, the best things about them, the things we want cannot be immediately confirmed to exist because people are so complicated and good at masking and shielding their true desire Human development and manipulation is one of those uh, red queen, they call it, arms races, where things get infinitely more complex and adept, yet kind of stay at the same relative level. So like humans are such powerful social machines, yet everyone is kind of at a, a similar level. We're much closer than we ever could be different because of just how much evolutionary pressure there was towards making us social animals. So it's a never ending game of are you good or are you just sending forth signals that would be the natural byproduct of being good, but can be faked without the goodness. It can be horrifying sometimes when the true essence is leaked out from behind the mask, like somebody who you thought to be kind suddenly treats people below their station terribly, and you get a glimpse into the fact that, oh, they actually are kind to receive a, a reward or a fact or something. Seeing people abuse animals, wait staff, <laughs> not to put those two things in the same sentence. People who are kind to their crushes, but mean to their parents, who they know they'll receive universal love from one way or the other. I think I perhaps lean more heavily on the spectrum than other people of look more at what people do than what they say. People say all manner of things, make all manner of promises, watch what they do when their guard is down. Who are they when no one's watching or when they think they've already gotten what they wanted?